It's our top story tonight. A SWAT team takedown inside a Cedar Park family's home shown on live television just hours after deputies bypassed a chance to peacefully arrest a man when he was in court. Now, one month after the KVU defenders first revealed the story of Javier Ambler's death while in the custody of Williamson County Sheriff's deputies, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office faces a new round of questions about its tactics and relationship with the now canceled show, Live PD. Now, the man arrested and others believe the department staged the military-style raid, all for reality television. Here's senior reporter Tony Plahetsky. A quiet house in a peaceful neighborhood that became the scene of a dramatic police takedown. Before I could even get up and get to the door, every room in the house was covered with people in assault gear. We're live in Williamson County, Texas. And it all played out on national TV. I saw the people coming in with the guns, and that really, I just did that, uh, shaking. On Thursday, May 2nd, 2019, the Williamson County Sheriff's SWAT team mounted a full-scale operation to arrest Asher Watsky at his father's house for an alleged assault on his roommate. I can't describe it. Like, I, I, I froze. I was, like, frozen with fear, and I was super scared. He was yelling, dad, 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 and they were telling him, you know, just be quiet. And, and I was telling him, look, whatever they do, just do what they want, stay calm, whatever they ask, just do it. But there is a reason Watsky's highly weaponized arrest is so shocking. If, if, if they had wanted to really arrest him and they were trying to do it in a civil proper way, they had him in the courthouse. His arrest came just three and a half hours after Watsky sat peacefully in a courtroom. It was all for TV. It was all for show. That afternoon, the 24-year-old had walked out of the Williamson County Justice Center after a pretrial hearing on a related charge. Like every visitor, he went through metal detectors and stood feet away from armed court bailiffs who all work for Sheriff Robert Chody. By all accounts, Williamson County Sheriff's officials never planned to quietly arrest Asher Watsky. His family, lawyers, and experts say they suspect it was all staged for the cable reality show, Live PD. The second I saw a camera, I, you know, I'm aware of the live PD program, so I figured out, like, right then when I first saw it, I had a feeling of what was going on. The department's handling of Watsky's arrest, revealed for the first time by the KVU defenders, places new scrutiny on an agency already under fire. Last month, we brought you the story of Javier Ambler, who died after deputies tased him four times, seconds before he died. That incident, also recorded by Live PD and shown in this body camera footage, never aired on the show. Court records indicate police first arrested Asher Watsky in September 2018 after his roommate said he was severely injured in an altercation. Police charged Watsky with assault family violence and he was released on bond. For seven months, he showed up on time for court. Anything else that they really asked, I, I'd be willing to do. Been passing drug tests and uh, uh, living up to everything. Haven't missed a date. I'm just doing my best. What Waski and his attorney say they did not know until after the raid is that a grand jury indicted him on a second charge stemming from another incident with his roommate. That indictment, alleging that Watsky used a shovel to assault him, automatically triggered a new arrest warrant. But that arrest warrant had been on the books 15 days before Watsky came to court. Williamson County District Attorney Sean Dick and others wondered why courthouse security did not arrest Watsky when he came to court that day, just like they do all the time with other defendants who have pending warrants. The DA did not want to go on camera, but he said sheriff's officials told him they made Watsky's warrant inactive that day so no one would see it. They thought Watsky was a violent threat and said arresting him with the SWAT team was the safest way. He does have an extensive history for uh, narcotics use. He uh, obviously has got a, a, a background of violence. 
That's Detective Mark Luera as the SWAT team rolled up to the house. Nothing the detective says about Watsky's history is supported by court documents or publicly available law enforcement records. Watsky's only previous arrest was for misdemeanor marijuana possession. It's very concerning to me. National law enforcement consultant Jeff Noble says police agencies rarely rely on the same tactics that deputies used in Watsky's arrest. Many consider them dangerous to officers, the public, and the suspects themselves. So that's not the type of a, a, a situation to take lightly, but at the same time, it's not the type of situation you would normally, I would, I would expect a SWAT team to make an entry into a home to make an arrest. Noble says he too is left with the same disturbing suspicion. That this was staged um, for the value of live television. It's not the first time someone has raised the possibility in the department's two-year run on live PD. Sheriff Chody did not respond to our interview request. But this was his response at a commissioner's meeting last May. I'm just asking in general, do we delay, do we change our process, do we do anything in order for the camera to be able to, to film it? No, not that I'm aware of, no. But the Watskis feel differently. More than a year later, they are still badly shaken. It's been tough. The raid left their home with thousands of dollars in damage. But frightened in my own home, even after all of this, even today, the doorbell rings, Asher runs to the other room. But they are also left with a feeling that their confidence in local law enforcement is shattered. I said to one of the officers as they were getting ready to leave, stone cold face in his riot gear. And I said, you know, I looked at him and said, you should be ashamed of yourself for what you've done. And he just looked at me. Most people do not deserve to be treated that way, no matter what. Three former sheriff's investigators told the KVU defenders that they often felt pressured by supervisors to get warrants for people whose arrest could be filmed for live PD. One of them said he did complain to supervisors but felt his concerns went unheard. For the KVU defenders, Tony Plahetsky, KVU News.